Welcome back to The Drive. Rich and Ryan here with you, joined by Jeremy Henderson, he of the War Eagle Reader for our segment, It's Pronounced Jordan. We're talking about streaking, and Jeremy, we just want the bare facts. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's, that's, uh, that was... <laughs> that's good. Can I start over again? All right. That was... That was all right. Okay. All right. Yeah, so I see, like I said... You found, see this. found this as a young, a young man, teenager, 14, <laughs> Sunday afternoon... Wow. Go uh, over. As opposed to like a mm-hmm. National Geographic. <laughs> right, exactly. You, know, you do gloms, huh? You which know, was my experience. Uh, male curiosity. Sure. And so so where do you go? You go to your mom's yearbook, right? <laughs> of course. And, Who uh, didn't? It's, <laughs> so, so I'm flipping along. Like, I'm, I'm sitting there with mom, right? And you know, we're going along like, oh, this Oh, boy, that's thing. embarrassing. <laughs> well, well, right. I mean, this is the way it was in 74. And she's like, oh, I forgot that was in there. Because. <laughs> Because you would, because it's so unbelievable that it's in there, and you're just like, oh, but it's okay. You're not turning the page because it's in the glom and it's history, and it, you know what I mean. And it's it's like, kind of like National Geographic, right, exactly. It really it's, is. It's art. Or it's like you know, it's, you're like you're they don't along, know any better, son. <laughs> you're going along, and I'm. And it's I, part of their culture. And, and I'm just, you know, I was just struck yeah. by this fact. You know, of like you know, you expect your parents to be these, you know prudes and everything you're walking and here they are you know you're expecting some old you know <laughs> horn rim glasses and yada yada and here they and here they are they're naked you know in the in, in the yearbook and so i uh a few years well about five six seven years ago i uh pulled it back out looking for something to uh, research get into and for whatever reason well, i'm shocked and appalled I, that this is what I, you decided I, I, I to do the, some I dro- research i happened on. to drop that glom to the f- <laughs> and it right. just happened to open up to that <laughs> just fly to page 54 it was i don't know why not that it was dog-eared or anything no no, no. i don't know why i did but it happened to you anyway so i start looking at it and i'm like this you know this is crazy and anyway, so I, I look and I see the name of the guy who took this photo because oh the guy that, you know, <laughs> working a laundromat. <laughs> <laughs> if his name's Thigpen, I'm leaving. All right, so you so, find the name well, of the guy the track, who took the picture. The track, right? And he, and it's like copyright the original streak and everything. And there's kind of this thing going around that Auburn was one of the first to do it. Yada yada. But it's not, you know. I mean, we were one of the first schools actually, like in the entire country. But <laughs> one anyway, of the first, but because it the, says, but we were the first. First in the state, in, one of the first in the southeast. I think right. Florida, Florida, was Florida State. No, Florida, Florida State. We beat. I think we beat Florida. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's kind of progressive. Exactly. It no, it was. I mean, it was a really big deal for this to happen like this. And so the story. So I call the guy, and he's like, "Well, you got to understand the time you deal with." I track him down at a steakhouse at Orion's in Florida one night, like a <laughs> because he's got one of these names like M Finger. You know what I mean? Who's not, <laughs> right. It's not going to be hard to look up. Right. 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 And so. so I call his I call his wife and I'm telling him what's going on and he's you know he's he's mowing away and he's like well let me tell you you know and so he gives me the whole scoop and I'm like you know there's like a real big story to this because it's not just the, the streaking that was happening it's the backdrop and the backstory you know with with, with the culture of the universe sure. and everything's changing sure. and everything but Auburn is like really you know hardcore holding on to these rules and roles for coeds and students and everything and then just it's kind of you know there was and, probably a curfew for. Oh, there still was in, right, the, right, right. In the dorms, up until and this is, and I read this on the Warrior Eagle Reader, but uh, up until uh, up until uh, just a little bit before this, the girls still had to wear raincoats over their PE wear when they were going to PE classes. Walking to class, couldn't you had to wear? You a couldn't raincoat. be. You couldn't be in short. You had to have like a coat on a over coat it or on. something. Yeah, yeah I it mean, was, it was pretty. It, it was amazing. I mean, we got co- you know, and at Florida, all, all see all the girls. All this to say that streaking at Auburn really had a big impact because of the community of Auburn and the right. university it was a, culture. You know, yeah, it was a huge deal. People couldn't, you know, I mean, and you know, I mean, streaking at Cal Berkeley is probably just kind of what they did. Right. And I tell, I told, you know, I talked to David <laughs> Helsel. I got, I got tamales back here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we thought hot tamales might be appropriate for the right. show today, mm, but I. Uh, you know, I talked to Dave. I, of course, I go to David Housel. Sure, I like David. He after knows I, I stalked this friendship out of David Housel right around this time and everything, and so I go to meet with him, and he's like, "Well," and he, ki- he kicks back. He's like, "Well, it's almost like we were in Scandinavia for a while." <laughs> because, and he's he has a story. He has a story of him walking along. All right, and this is my favorite. If I, I should have, I have audio of this. He okay. he recorded. He kicked his feet back, put the you know, the uh, the recorder up to his mouth. It was just going on, and he's like. You know, I was walking along a few days after this first one, and uh, and uh, good old country boy, I was tutoring him and tutoring him in journalism. I was a young professor, wise in the ways of my students, and all of a sudden, there uh, here comes some naked, you know, a couple walk, running naked on the concourse, and this old country boy says, "Well, heck, fire!" And I look back, and all of a sudden, and 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 he's done taking his pants off, and I was like. <laughs> What? And I was like, are you serious? Like, walking with you? And the strutting goes, yeah, you just dropped trial. <laughs> and I, and I, need to get a, I need to get an audio file of that. Because it is, 
to hear David Howell say. Now, that, say, should, that should be your ringtone, Rod. Is, is David Howell say, yeah, drop, drop, drop trout. Drop trout. Drop trout. That, that would be a good ringtone. We're going to get that on this site. Oh, my Lord. And uh, anyway, and so he's, you know, he's got all these uh, crazy stories. And so, you know, and I, I don't even know exactly what to go into. But, like, the first streak was, like, a really big deal because it was, it was, it was planned. What had happened on, was on February 14th, Valentine's yes. Day, the yes. day before. Rita Grimsley. Yes. <laughs> we know Rita. Oh, yes. All right. Rita, columnist, you know, big big time, big, she was big with wig. The, she was term. big with the Plainsman right. at that point, she right? Was, she was the features editor at that okay. point. It was her junior year. And so she's looking, you know, for some story to go along with this nostalgia section that they're doing and reads on Time Magazine about this new thing out in Los Angeles that might be happening, this streak and stuff, these Blitzkrieg runs from one point to another that are just kind of going across, you know, like the street and everything, and it's spreading to a couple of campuses. So she writes this thing like, will streaking ever happen in Auburn kind of a deal? And, right. and, and, and it's basically a total come on for somebody to do this thing. It's a you know dare. What I mean? Right, it's essentially yeah. a dare. And she describes, like, running across She's Haley Concourse right. yeah. to Parker, right? Yeah. Well, like, so the very next day, the exact thing she describes, like, happens, happens. right? And so everybody thinks that, like, the Plainsman, there's this, you know, collusion and – and a gonzo journalism, they're creating the story because they happen to have like a you know photographer right there, and uh, and so but they didn't, and it turns out that it's a uh, now I've, I've I've talked to like I, I decided I was I was going to write a book about this and, and with uh, the backdrop and the story and everything that was going on because it was just, it was just really good and all these things you know were kind of fitting together in this just one period of time. I love this story. Yeah, it's fantastic. It'll blow your mind. <clears throat> it's been <laughs> I I do. I've I, spent a lot of time on it. Do the, <laughs> Um, it, and, but you know, it is, I'm not a total pervert cause it is like the backstory and everything. It's not just the story. No, no, you know the what I mean? That just is the that's story a coincidence. Of the, the story of the first guy I think is what is, right. is, it, is it, what's it, really kind of cool. Yeah, it's well, it's just kind of symptomatic of what Auburn was right, is right, right. as a university. Right. The, the clash <clears throat> of cultures, the clash of thoughts, the, the kind of a, emerging from this really, really. Old fashioned, very conservative way of thinking. The whole war and movement right, kind right. of finally got to East Alabama mm, and right. got to Auburn. And like you know? entitled, and you know, and and Dean, so we just went nuts and started taking our clothes off Dean, instead of protesting. Right, right. <laughs> and Dean Cater, you know, Dean Cater had been here. You know, there, every, every every plainsman has story. You know, like the AWS, the girls. You know, SGA. You know, <clears> is, is you know their curfews and their fighting roles and you know and and uh, rules. <laughs> and so they um. But uh, where was it going? It was somewhere, <laughs> it was somewhere good. Anyway, you yeah, fit yeah, right you know, in, Dean, Jeremy. Dean Cater's, you fit right Dean in. Dean Cater's been here since you know forty seven, right? Right, and so all this stuff, and you know, she's this staid old, you know, you know, presence up in you know right. the social center, and uh, and so when it, um, yeah, all of a sudden, and, and, and girls who can't get out, and all of a sudden they're 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 running, you know, like naked and everything, and so it's it's like a big deal. <laughs> And uh, it is kind of a big deal, right? Big right. Deal. It was. Big. I think it'd be a big deal today. And there's all. The, yeah, no, it, it would be huge today. I'd be like, be, <laughs> not that we're saying. No, we we're not. We're not, we're not saying that's the thing. It wouldn't happen today because, like, so there was this one. There was this one event, and I can go into the specifics of that. But a few weeks later, and there were some isolated incidents. David Hazel's you know, drop trowel encounter, right, right and everything. Right. And there was there was a few other things. Somebody uh, streaked sounder at Langdon Hall. <laughs> <laughs> nice and uh, and a few other and, I, and I've actually Wasn't like there tra- an athletic event streak. Wasn't yeah, there yeah, a baseball, yeah, baseball, game, baseball game streak? And Paul Ellen was uh, calling the game okay. actually. Yeah, nice. Yeah, and there was a uh, and then and then at a day that year there was uh, I've got some I've got some pictures and people are up like uh, it's some sort of like War Eagle sign and then they flip it over and it says Streak Auburn or you know something like that. So right. it, it's a big deal. But like on uh, the day before Dead or on Dead Day in March seventh and eighth and ninth is when it really kind of hit like nationwide. Auburn's Always, on the quarter system, right? right Auburn's on right. the quarter. Order, and somehow it gets going that on the drill field that night, all naked hell is gonna better break <laughs> loose, <laughs> right? Like we're we, we wow we're going we're going at it full throttle. Wow, you, you know that ought to keep the administration up. up our backs. Wow. <laughs> anyway, and so uh, oh and, my and, gosh. and hundreds and hundreds of po- folks are going. You know what I mean? It's you know and and and, and girls finally take off. And it turns into this weird raid up on the hill dorms because the girls had to be in, for God's sake. You know what I mean? So the half of them can't be out to the street and to watch this stuff. So all the dudes and Dean Foy's psychosocial crowd control and everything, nice. they're out there. He's called the the, uh, the demonstrations control committee. And, you know, right. well, half of those guys are organizing this stuff, right? So That's they're like, awesome. They're kind of like, yeah, yeah sure, we, Dean Foy. We got, you know? it. we got it covered. Don't and, worry. And people, I've got pictures and people are tearing I off. I told them we got it covered. <laughs> people. 
people, right, people are tearing off, like, windows trying to get into the girls' dorms. They're breaking down doors. The cops, somebody turned a cop car over that night. I mean, it, wow. it, was, it was it was wild, like, for Auburn to be, you know, for this stuff to be happening and everything. And, and so, like, the first guy for a few sports, you know, tie-ins, we had, you know, like, the baseball thing. Right. And then, uh, and I remember uh, in, in one of the stories following, um, you know, covering the actual thing, they asked, you know, like, uh, Suge, a few of these people, and they asked Suge, they said, uh, you know, like, what do you think? He's like, well, I... I know it couldn't have been one of our players. He's like, we don't have anybody that fast. <laughs> <laughs> That's priceless. And uh, that is hysterical. And then a girl, a girl, a student. Some people say she wasn't a student, but she was. By God. Oh yeah. When uh, the Beach Boys came and the uh, around the same time, like uh, March fifteenth, yes. I think, and James Gang was opening. The up James Gang was right? opening. Oh yeah. And 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 a girl streaked the James Gang thing. <laughs> Right, and, and I remember, and that's on camera. Somebody has to probably, snapped a picture. Of it's that. probably there. It's Somebody got it. No, I think I saw that on the on your site. I think there's a picture of. The, of uh, I think I saw. I think I saw a picture on the on the Warrior Group. Well, you probably did. I'm, I'm sure. I'm you just did. guessing. No, I'm. Mean, <laughs> well, there is a. Well, well I looked at all the pictures. The, the, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's that one. Well, there's one. There's I need to do research for there's the show. This, <laughs> there's this one. David. David was telling me about this serial streaker, right? This girl that made a repeated appearances, and they like uh, Big Blue. Big Blue. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Big Blue, and so and she was like like Bigfoot or something. Listen, you know what I mean? I had like, to read know, every you know bit what of I'm this saying. disgusting right, story. <laughs> Three times. <laughs> it's smut. We we just the, <laughs> and look at the picture. The war eagle the well, smut sure. peddler. Absolutely. dot com. And, no, uh, no, it, no. Well, anyway, so it's historic. But I talked to Roger Mitchell yes. of the Amazons fame yeah. and everything back in there, and I uh, and I was he was t- accused by Gary Sanders of blocking one of the puns. <laughs> exactly accused. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he was accused. <clears throat> and uh, he 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 was telling. He's like, oh yes, I remember. And he goes like, look it off, and he goes, there was a girl who streaked the Beach Boys concert, and she goes. He just pauses for a second and goes, she had beautiful eyes. <laughs> wow. Uh, so that there's a few is, little sports things. Let's that see, is uh, just, a, that's okay, adorable. Jeremy. That's adorable. And, um, but yeah, there's, uh, you know, I don't know how many, <clears throat> if, I've, you know, if we need to go, whatever. Yeah. But yeah. I can, there, there's plenty of stories in the naked city. Can, can, you know? can, can I tell you, first of all, let, and let me just say, uh, you you did the, uh, this is one of the longer stories that I've that I've read on the War Eagle Reader. And uh, the subject matter aside, you described the interview uh, that you did with uh, one of the characters involved in this story. And, uh, and he talks uh, very openly about, Th- this initial streak and what was behind it and it was kind of right. a bet and he needed money and there was right. and 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 the fraternity and all that stuff and it's very it's just a very entertaining engaging read um from from start to finish it's it is funny but it's also just fascinating yeah it is it really and, is and, and the story behind the first one like gets even better because it wasn't just you know, th- this guy was just—he was just the guy that accepted the dare. Yeah, took he just the money, took the yeah. But the, the planning behind this thing. Exactly. There was some yeah. And it, it was just—it was—it's it, just. Uh, it was like it's like a, it's almost like, it's almost like a heist set. No, it is. I mean, it, when, I, when I first started, uh, you know, like trying to track him down and everything, right? It, it, the guy was a lambda Kai, right? Okay. And uh, and so when I, 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 I was trying to pinpoint who this guy was, and I was on their website looking at you know uh, alumni list and whatnot. And so I see a, a bunch of the people who were there at that time that I'm going to start emailing and everything. And I'm sending them form emails like, right. hey, I'm working on this thing. And I, but, of course, I personalize them, right? Well, all of a sudden, I, I get like this email instantly from this guy, and it's like, look, Dick Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, I realize what you're doing. I'm getting your emails everywhere. If we are willing, like, we possibly will be willing to talk if you agree to meet with our terms. And I was just like, dear God, Whoa. what kind of horn is this? You know, like, Whoa. what have I stirred up? And it took like three or four they emails. Made a pact. And he's like, He's like, uh, I won't, I won't agree to, you know. Did something happen? Yes, you know. And he's like, well, I won't tell you anything until I see the whites of your eyes. <laughs> wow. And, and so I met, I met with him for the first time at Niffers. Uh, a few, and, I mean, oh. and I was actually looking last night at the uh, the transcription of the interview, and it's just it blew my mind of oh. what happened. The thing, the the first run made the AP wire within like two hours, and uh, the Lambda Kai brothers took off. The guys who had planned it and took off from Maggie Valley, North Carolina. Um, you know, if they're spring formal or something like that. And so as it's, uh, as, as streak is back here, you know, like trying to, you know, whatever duck for cover the uh the the, the Valley guys they show up at the hotel or whatever and it's like 
are you the boys from Auburn? And they're like, what in the That's world? Awesome. And then, long story, long story, it was on Paul Harvey. 